welcome back to the Hacienda Road here. Uh, today we are going to make, once again, marinated chicken thighs with sautéed radishes. I made a video about five years ago on this recipe, and it is absolutely delicious, and we make it all the time. So I decided I'm going to revisit it and update it and uh, make it again. The star of this is the Moore's Original Marinade. Um, I got a good deal online at Amazon. I got two bottles for the price of one. Uh, so I've got the chicken uh, marinating uh, off camera uh, in the moors. You've got to marinate it for at least half an hour for this recipe. Very simple ingredients. We're going to need a cup of Chardonnay, two pounds of radishes. They are beautiful this time of year. Uh, excellent flavor. We're going to need a cup of chicken stock using better than bouillon, one large red onion, and a little bit of garlic. And that's it, so stick with me and let's get started. First thing we're gonna do in a skillet with uh, some olive oil is we are going to uh, brown the chicken. It doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because we're gonna cook it more later. And then we're gonna transfer it uh, to one of these pans into a 250 degree oven. We're cooking the chicken in two batches. All right, so after the second batch of chicken's done, it's warming in the oven. Now we're going to add the onions and the radishes, and uh, we're going to saute that for a few minutes and get the flavors uh, all nice and mixed in there and get the radishes to start cooking a little bit. After about 10-15 minutes of sauteing over medium-high heat, um, we're going to remove the radishes from the skillet, put them over the chicken, and keep them warm in a 250 degree oven. All right, so we got the marinade uh, boiling in the same skillet over high heat. Now we're going to add a uh, generous amount of garlic, cheater's garlic, the paste. Uh, one cup of better than bouillon chicken stock. and about one cup of Chardonnay. Uh, we're gonna eyeball it. Oh, that sounds about right. Okay, so we'll keep it up on high and we're gonna cook it down for a bit. All right, so once it's reduced down to this kind of syrupy consistency, we're gonna add the chicken and the radishes and uh, turn it down to low and just wait till the rice cooks. And here you go, steaming goodness, but that's not done. Oh no, we have to make it pretty. We are going to start out with uh, putting some roasted sesame seeds on it. That's always right on time. Because uh, Moore's has a vaguely Asian flavor, and it's actually very, very delicious. It's the star of the show. Then, we're going to put a little bit of cilantro on there. Again, that's optional. You can use basil. That goes very well. And there you have it. Delicious. Let's go ahead and try it. All right, so here we go. Oh man, that's nice. And I, um, I put it over basmati rice. That always goes very well. So let's try the onion. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. A little salty. Um, normally I use either homemade stock or um, nor bouillon cubes. I use better than bouillon this time and I forgot that it's got a ton of salt in it so it's still good but uh, it's a little on the salty side. Mmm. <laughs> Boy. That chicken absorbs the wickers. I, I'm sorry, the moors. No wickers. What am I saying? Oh, absolutely delicious. Just tender as can be. Highly recommended. Check out that moors um, marinade. You're gonna love it. Thanks for watching.